what do you think the iron workers will look like in five more years? Well, we propose the path for growth. And what we recognize is, you know, our apprenticeship program has been our steadfast way of growing and training our members. But the economy has ramped up so much, so fast, and the economy, uh, you know, we've lost our way. All of organized labor has lost its way. So there was an open recognition on the need to organize and to go and recruit workers, not only through the traditional apprenticeship program, but to go find them in the construction industry and migrate them into ours and figure out how to round off and train their skills. And mm -hmm. I, I think that was a steady drumbeat there. Um, we recognize that uh, there's government uh, policies being shaped across the land, especially with right to work state by state, that we need to kind of draw a line in the sand and we need to fight back politically. And that was a, a portion of what I took away there. But, um, you know, in five years, I, I, I'm expecting to stay on the growth path. Now, I've said this before, we're growing and we're growing, A, because we uh, horrifically suffered uh, the post-2008 construction depression. Mm -hmm. So we lost a bunch of members. But contrarily, not every person in the billy trades is growing. So I'm proud that we're one of the four trades that have been able to claw and fight back to respectable numbers of our pre-08 numbers. But I'm not, uh, I told the delegates, I'm not satisfied with just getting back to even. We got to capture more of the construction spending dollars that are coming out. And we share that both in my keynote speech and in various addresses, is that we got to be hungry and we can't be complacent that, right. oh, well, we're doing as good as we were pre-08, so then therefore we're going to sit on our hands. That's not, never been my style. I told them, uh, I don't ex I expect our leadership to hold our members accountable, but that our leadership was also going to hold the leaders accountable and the members. And we're going to keep shining a light where, you know, if we don't have market share, that means we're failing in a market and we got to improve on that. Amen.